Grand Hotel is a film that I would have watched at some point because I love Greta Garbo. But I actually watched it because I'm currently trying to watch every single Oscar Best Picture winner and this won in 1932. The film was released in 1932 and is directed by Edmund Golden, written by Vicky Baum and stars, of course, Greta Garbo as well as John Barrymore and Joan Crawford. And this is about a hotel called the Grand Hotel in Berlin. It's a very high-class luxury hotel and it just focuses on different groups of people who are staying there and the dramas that they get up to. Now, this is labelled as a drama and a romance. Absolutely, there's drama. There's definitely romance. But I also thought it was a bit of a comedy. I don't know if it was meant to be funny, but there were bits in it that I thought were quite entertaining certain characters more than others were very um funny to watch and they had really interesting personalities and i think that's what makes this a pretty decent film because we have all these different people from different walks of life some are there for professional reasons some are there for holiday one's there because he feels like he has to spend all of his money now for a specific reason that i won't go into i, I don't want to spoil anything but I like that. I like the fact that we have different people. The only thing I guess that ties them together is the fact that they can afford to to stay here. And the drama that ensues is quite ludicrous. There's somebody trying to carry out a theft. There's obviously that element of romance. There's all kinds of what I would consider to be quite bizarre situations. And some of the characters' actors, the characters' actions are believable, but slightly over the top and that makes it quite engaging to watch what i do think though is that it's quite slow a lot of the time it's just under two hours and sometimes i found it very engaging very easy to watch and at other points i thought i was dragging on a bit and it wasn't very entertaining and Obviously, then there would be a lull with that and it would start to be really interesting again. So it was very much ebbing and flowing for pretty much the entire film. So it wasn't perfect for me. But I, I do love the concept of a film focusing on a hotel and then the characters who are there. You could very easily write a sequel to that and bring in some different personalities. And then, you know, essentially it could go on forever. I love that concept and... I think the execution of that is really well. It's based on the play by William Absalom Drake. I've never seen the play. I don't know if the play is still in production at any point. I assume some people will put it on occasionally. Um, I really, I really liked the concept and I thought they delivered it very well. Did it deserve the Oscar? I, I don't know. If this was released now but maybe to a slightly more modern standard. I don't think it would be an Oscar contestant. However, um, I, I, I haven't heard of any of the films that it was up against. That doesn't mean the other films were bad. It just means that the competition might not have been great. It was up against The Smiling Lieutenant, The Champ, Shanghai Express, One Hour, F one hour With You, Five Star Final, Bad Girl, and Aerosmith. Um, so I, I don't know. I might watch some of those. I'm pleased I've seen it because I do adore Greta Garbo and I will watch anything she's done. It's not the best film in the world, but it's not really a weak link. It's a good enough film that it deserves to be watched. Don't really think it was Oscar worthy, but again, competition may have been a bit weak. Personally, I would recommend it. I think it's pretty decent. If I had to give it a star rating, I'd, I'd give it a three because it was quite long and very slow to progress. It was alright, not amazing, but I'd still recommend it.